Hello everyone, my name is Kylie Dixon. I am an artist, illustrator and now a published children's book author. And I live in the northeast of England in a little town called Siam. This is my studio, or I like to call it Mushy Heights, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But what I want to say today is today I'm going to be talking to you about a really great creative activity that you can do using a pen and a piece of paper. Okay, so we'll get on to that in a minute. So like I say, my um, business is called Mushroom Marvelous and I started off as an artist, but through lockdown, I wanted to help the families and the children to keep being creative at home. So I've been working with them throughout the year and they have inspired me to write my own children's book. So this is Incap and the Nethers and this is available at the moment and it is for children of seven to 11 year olds and it has 40 of my illustrations in. So Incap is a mushroom, a mushroom character and everything that I do is based around mushrooms. So my story is all about a secret world of mushroom characters that live in a garden, in an allotment. And they do lots of wonderful things in the secret world to help the plants survive nasty things going on. Um, I wanted to talk to you about mushrooms because you might think, why on earth mushrooms? So, everything that I create has a mushroom in it. I hand draw little mushrooms in, like that. I illustrate them in. Because, in Old English folklore, it's gone a bit, it's a bit wonky. In Old English folklore, if you look at it and you research it, when you're out in the wild, spotting mushrooms grown in the wild is actually a symbol of positivity and new beginnings and hope. And it's just a nice thing for you to think about when you see a mushroom, that there's something positive gonna happen, okay? So that's a little bit about me. So let's get on to today's task. One of the, the things that I've been working with the families with is little arty tasks each, each week, creative ways that they can get inspired and do something really nice together. And one of the, the popular ones that I've been working on is a little activity called Zentangle. So Zentangle um, is it's a, a creative art form that was designed by a artist called Maria Thompson. Okay, and she started to draw um, really intricate black and white designs that people were watching her actually draw them and they started to feel relaxed when they were watching her draw. So it became this huge phenomenon that has taken over the world and there's lots of people doing it at the minute to try and help to relax themselves. So I'm gonna show you some examples of how you can start to build up a, a Zentangle and it's gonna be in the form of a mushroom. Okay, so let me just show you some examples, first of all, of how you can start to build these patterns up. Okay, so the best way to start a Zentangle design is by using a series of squares, because what you're gonna do in each of these squares here is decide what kind of a pattern that you're gonna use in your design. I'll quickly show you a little bit of an example that I did with my son the other day. So as you see, there's a flower, and the whole point of Zentangle is to build up your pattern and your creation with various patterns, repeated patterns. I will also show you some of the designs that um, the children and the families have been doing. There's been some beautiful ones. So what we're gonna do in these squares is decide what patterns we're going to use. Now, I'll just quickly show you what um, some of the patterns that I've done. And it really doesn't matter how intricate you are or how detailed you want to be. This is just deciding so that when you be, when you come to draw your design, you know what patterns you're going to put where, so that you're not having to overthink about it. And that's all you're doing is you're just repeating that pattern. And we'll do a couple more so we can see. Right, this this doesn't have to be neat because this is just your project where you're designing the patterns. Okay, what else can we do in here? Let's have a bit of this. Now remember, you can go and research Zentangle on the internet because there are hundreds and thousands of pattern designs you can look at. So have a go at creating some of your own 
and have a go at researching some on the internet. Okay, what else can we have? Let's do one more. And this is just giving you an idea of what you can fill those spaces in. What I'm going to do is I will be sending across a mushroom template as well, which you can use. Because that's what I've been doing with my families. I've been trying to get them to draw everything that they, they create is all inspired by mushrooms, obviously links in with the book and the story and the art that I produce. So there's a mushroom there that I created. I did that with my son the other day. It's not finished yet. And that's the beauty about Zentangle. You can go back to it whenever you want, whenever you feel it, you want to. So I will show you as well. I will add on a few of the designs that have been posted um, into my Facebook group, The Magical World of Mushroom Marvelous. And I'd love you if any of your families on Facebook um, are old enough to be on Facebook, etc., then do come and find the magical world of Mushroom Marvelous and join in.